All right, this is a review of The Great American Staycation, How to Make a Vacation at Home for the Whole Family and Your Wallet by Matt Wixon. Ready, set, stay. And here are some ideas about a staycation. A fake vacation? No. Matt's book is concerning families. I got this for free on Kindle Unlimited. What is a staycation? A vacation in which the vacationer stays at home or near home while creating the environment of a traditional vacation. You could do this in a bad economy, whenever there's gas prices are up, you're being laid off, or someone in your family's been laid off, or a slow economy. And you're pretty much downsizing from anything of luxury. You can maintain a positive attitude and flexibility in this vacation and not settling. Create the vacation, and here are some tips and mindsets to take into account. Treat it as a real vacation. Fun is free, you're not at work. Plan ahead. Choose a start and end date. Create mental distance. Treat yourself. Remember, take pics. Maximize your hometown and surroundings. And most of all, stay positive. Obviously, these are hard times. This was written right at the 2008 collapse. So there's a bunch of inspiration in this book. And Staycation has some bonuses. There's no hassles of flying in the airports dealing with the parking, the drama, the customs, kids crying on the plane as well as overpriced hotels, fees, and resort fees. Just as I went to Vegas for a convention, it cost $100 a night for this hotel. However, I was paying $50 in taxes and a $50 resort fee in total. So that came up to about $200 a night. And here are some spots, some are up front, but these are great ideas, and I'm gonna list them. There's theme parks, you don't really wanna waste time in lines though. There's skydiving, wind tunnels, BMX racing tracks, family fun centers, rock climbing, Dave and Busters, camping, off-roading rentals, firing a potato gun, this is for like farm country type area. National parks, pick up your own fruit. Museums and never tell your kids something is educational. Great advice for the families. Tours of factories, fire and police stations. Green vacations, you could just chill out and watch meteor showers at night. Resorts and spas are somewhat overpriced but you can find something local. Just do sports, any type of sports. Movies on your big screen TV. Trains for the kids, kiddie pool. A barbecue, a simple barbecue with the family. Being creative, a puppet show, or make a movie, and then edit. Slip and slide, one of my favorites. You can make cookies, pay for airplanes, eat at local restaurants, just chill out and look at Google Earth. Things outside the box. Some odd ones he recommended were Pez Dispensers in Burlingame, California, which is near me. The Spam Museum. So don't be jealous of all these inclusive resorts, exotic locations you see on Instagram, spas, room service, five-star resorts. Simple can be fun. Stay local, read. Don't watch any news, no notifications. Carry duct tape around. They're a quick fix for almost anything or situations. And ready, set, stay. Be super chillin'. Here's a special section I have, the pandemic section in March 2020. So it's pandemonium out there. It's a pandemic, you can chill. Read, no news. Twitter twice a day, that's it. Eat healthy, go for walks, ride a bike. Social distance yourself. No restaurants, no delivery. Come on, man, how lazy are you? Make a fire and s'mores by your lonely self. Go to a real national park, not that man-made crap. Anything wild. Hopefully you have one or two people around you. Think, execute, and prepare for the storm, especially after all these ways, to make better money-making decisions and strategies. Clean the house, organize a home. And there's almost no excuse because you have so much time. Let's quarantine forever. Do not panic. Don't freeze. No staring at the storm and is watching the news. It is here. Meditate. Do anything productive. Take advantage of the slow time. You are alive. Here are my ideas that you could do during a typical staycation, not a pandemic. You can go to a national park. Pick your own fruit. Go with the kids. It's really a lot of fun. Go hiking and fishing. No zoos. Let the animals be wild. Go see it in the world world, in the wild. You have guidebooks. You can look at the Lonely Planet books. They give a, a lot of cheap budget information. They're sports. Just need a ball or a surfboard. Very simple. Bike around, go the unbeaten path. You can start a campfire, eat some s'mores, barbecue and get the kiddie pool and, and a balloon fight for the kids. You can go on an adventure walk, chill and read. Fly a kite, edit a movie, buy food at Costco, limit waste, meditate all day, and most of all, enjoy chillaxing.